A total solar eclipse passed over North America, putting on a dramatic show that was visible to millions of people across the continent. Millions of people craned their necks, they tilted their heads and looked towards the sky and watched in wonder as the day turned to night. Our next report has the further details about this celestial event. North America's first total eclipse in seven years started off in Mexico on Monday. For many, the rare event was moving. A lot of emotion, a desire to embrace the family. We were cold. It was not warm. Thanks to the world and the universe. Thousands gathered in the beachside resort town of Mazatlan, the first major viewing spot along this year's Path of Totality, a 115-mile-wide stretch from Mexico's Pacific coast through Texas and across 14 other states into eastern Canada. Folks, enjoy the eclipse, but play it safe. Don't be silly. U.S. President Joe Biden reminded social media followers about eye safety as millions of sky watchers gathered all over the U.S. for the celestial display. About 32 million people in the United States live within the path of totality, and many more were able to observe a partial solar eclipse. Crowds in Arlington, Texas cheered as the moon crept slowly but surely in front of the sun, briefly blocking out all but a brilliant halo of light or corona. Oh my God, it was really amazing. Um, yeah, it was an experience I've never felt before. When it got totally dark, I literally was like screaming the whole time. I actually cried a little tear or two a little because it was like overwhelming. Um, it was an amazing experience. Onlookers in Millerton, Oklahoma banged drums as the sky went dark. In Indianapolis, many gathered in the bleachers of the storied Indy 500 racetrack to take it in. It was just insane. We were just talking about how it kind of looks like a pierogi. It looks like a croissant. In New York City, viewers were in awe and also possibly hungry as coverage reached only 90% totality, making the sun crescent-shaped. <laughs> and eclipse enthusiasts in Niagara Falls in Ontario, Canada, broke a Guinness World Record for most people dressed like the sun. That was magical. That was amazing. Uh, it, uh, it was my second eclipse. It was her first, and neither of us have ever been to Niagara before. It was just incredible. The period of totality lasted up to four and a half minutes, depending on the observer's location, surpassing the one in 2017, which lasted upwards of two minutes and 42 seconds. According to NASA, solar eclipse totalities can range from 10 seconds to about seven and a half minutes. Spectators saw the moon block out the sun from more than a dozen states across the United States. While here in New York City, we had a partial eclipse that didn't stop the locals from picking their viewing spots and parties and gathering at their local parks for an unobstructed view of what for many may be a once in a lifetime activity. Upstate New York had the best view and by Niagara Falls, hotels were reserved months in advance. And New Yorkers we talked to said that at a time when the country is so divided, not only politically, but also as many face economic hardship, those few moments and the awe-inspiring wonder of nature were a welcome distraction to come together. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World Is One.